On August 9, 2014, in Ferguson, Missouri, a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri, Michael Brown Jr., an unarmed 18-year-old African-American male, died after being shot at least six times by Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson, who is white. People all over the United States of America, and even throughout the world, wonder why there is so much police violence against unarmed people. This violence often seems directed towards minorities. In this video, people from all walks of life and many races join to ask a nation, isn't there a better way? They join together on the steps of the state capitol in Denver, Colorado, and similar events have been happening all over the country. Certainly, a country that prides itself on civil and human rights can do better. Surprisingly, we find out days later the unarmed teen was charging the police officer when he decided to take the youth's life. The officer is alive today to give his version of the events. Wouldn't it be better if both parties were alive so that the true facts could come out? Witnesses state the officer is the one who attacked Michael Brown, grabbing him through a police car window because he refused to get out of the street. The officer drew his service revolver shooting Brown, who fled after being hit in the arm. Officer Wilson then got out of his police vehicle and ordered Brown to stop. Brown did stop and turned towards the officer with his hands up. Officer Wilson then shot Michael Brown five additional times, twice being in the head. People are asking on the Capitol steps of Colorado and in places all over the country, isn't there a better way they are less interested in hearing how an officer can use deadly force and more interested in hearing how police departments all over the country can use restraint. Por un día sin fronteras, this is Tim Painter reporting.